Kenny Borkin on boxing, uh, a friend, a hero, a idol. You've given all that to me. And you know, and Edwin Santana, 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 who's fighting, he said, you know, you were his inspiration. He said, you came to his school, you talked about the pearls of drugs, you taught him education, and you made him become a fighter. Yeah, I heard that, and uh, I met him, and I, uh, I was very impressed you know, by inspiring this this young man, and uh, and I hope that he becomes champion. Now, you know, I'm thinking, had you went in the military and they had baseball, you'd never become a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what happened was that the baseball that's season. I'm, I'm saying, if they had a baseball season, you maybe oh, you became a pitcher instead of a fighter. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm not a fool. You think I wanted to be here? <laughs> but but I was, then I got lucky, because I became champ. Okay. Jose, I let you go. I'll see you when you come back. No, pleasure. Okay, thank pleasure, you. Part two with Jose Torres and and champion. You know, we talked about you know you went into the military. Uh, you, baseball season was over. The football season was over. The track season was over. All you could do was box. Yeah, and I was, I got scared, and the guy looked at me uh, with uh, very suspicious eyes, because I said, but uh, I have to think about that. When he says boxing, I said, what the hell do I know about boxing? Even though I was a good Fist fighter, <laughs> but I, but I could understand the difference between <laughs> fighting and boxing, <laughs> so I got scared. But then uh, I was told, you know, if you join any sport, you 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 be you you be happy in the army. So I joined boxing, and uh, and that's how I became a boxer. Now, now what's this, now what's the between fist fighting and boxing? The difference w between fist fighter and boxing is that there are Rules and regulation in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> There's none in fist fighting? Absolutely <laughs> not. So fist fighting included gloves in your knees, gloves in your feet. So you can you could kick and kneel the other guy and you and you could spit on the other guy, mm -hmm. you know, to confuse him. And uh, and in boxing you couldn't do that you couldn't do that. And then I I, I was at a disadvantage with only boxing gloves. Mm -hmm. And I figured, that, come on, I can't beat nobody. But I did. I began beating, beating and winning, and I got happier, more determination. Confidence. Uh, and more confidence. And, and, you, and you didn't miss home as much? No, then, uh, then, I, then when I became a fighter, I be, and I kept winning and winning, on my seventh fight, I won the Antilles Military Championship. And on my 10th fight, I won the Caribbean military championship. So I was very happy. I, 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 I felt that it was better to box in the army than to fight in the street. <laughs> Fist fight with no rules. No, that's right, no good. It was better when I, when I was winning and winning and winning. You became like heavy, heavyweight champ of the world. Did you ever think about going up to the heavyweight division? No, you know why? Because by the time I became light heavyweight champion, I had been too long in in, in the that division, the weight. No, in the, in the boxing, in the business. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, I, I, I was uh, beginning to lose to lose interest. Mm -hmm. But when I, then I, I searched really, my ambition was to be champion of the world, and once I won the championship, I I lost interest in boxing. Mm -hmm. yeah, you also worked with the boxing commission for a while too. Yeah, I, when I became, then eventually I became a commissioner, right. and then I became the chairman of the New York State Commission, and it was, it was terrific to be the chairman because I began to read a lot and to change, uh, seventy, seventy percent of the rules and regulations were antique, you know, and I changed all that, and the governor was very happy that I did that, mm -hmm. and I explained to him, and then. I remember uh, I have I have uh, uh, Roberto Duran behind me. The great Roberto Duran. That's right. And Roberto Duran reminded me of a fight really? that he had in the garden mm -hmm. with Moore, and he was abusing Moore. <laughs> and I came to the ring and I said to the referee, "Stop that fight! Stop the damn fight! I'm screaming mm -hmm. because it was an abuse." Yeah, Ab yeah. And then. He didn't, he didn't hear me or he didn't pay attention. I got into the ring and I stopped the fight. That was June 16th, 1983. Holy, holy it was Cholo's birthday. It was, it, it was Cholo's birthday, June 16th, 1983. You won the Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. 
It was it was the last time the garden was filled for a non heavyweight fight. That's right. right. It's amazing that you people remember that better than me. Well, I remember Cholo. That's no, why I, I took I took more punches than you. Cholo. No more Cholo. Unico Cholo Duran. No more Cholo. Panama. <laughs> I, I took more punches than you. Okay. I took I'm more punches. Middle. Give me a second. Okay. okay. I okay. took I took more punches than you. That's why you I forget. You took more punches than me, Jose? But that's why I, I forget things. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, thanks a lot. Okay. Love so you. You got to go. A pleasure, okay. baby. Okay. Thank you.